Hey folks, I'm going to shoot a video on uh, touching up the paint on my crown molding. So I'm using Harbor Freight 5mm gloves. These are about $6 a box, so it's about $0.06 cents a glove. I'm going to be using a Harbor Freight chip paintbrush. So I'm going to use a 2-inch paintbrush. Uh, this goes quick. These are uh, 30 cents a piece. Um, I prefer this over an expensive brush because I don't have to wash it. I just throw it away when I'm done. Um, there are folks out there who can touch up paint without um, without taping it off. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those folks. You know, for me, I have to sit here and concentrate, and it just makes my hands hurt. Um, I, you know, I, I spend a lot of time on the keyboard, so I have carpal tunnel in both hands. And while this one's been fixed and it's a whole lot better, it, it's not perfect. So I just learned to limit what I do to it. It's much easier to very quickly brush paint on. So, without further ado, let me get the camera adjusted and let me get my paint tray and I'll get up here and actually put some paint on and show you how I do it. Okay, so I've got my paint tray and I've got my paintbrush and so I'm just going to very gently dip this and start painting. Now, I don't, I don't spend a whole lot of time worried about, oh, I'm going to get paint on the, the wall. I try not to get it on the floor um, because remember I'm going to come back and I'm going to touch this up. So this is just designed to, to be a quick way to paint my caulk and get all my trim a uniform color. And it's expected that I'm going to get paint on the wall and on the ceiling and that's why I'm going to tape it up and come back and hit it a second time with ceiling paint. <clears throat> and I'll do it one section at a time when I do that. Now, in the event that I do spill a little bit of paint, I just stop and wipe it up with a paper towel real quick and it's not an issue. Now, if you have a floor that you absolutely cannot get paint on, then you need to use something like a drop cloth or a furniture blanket. I am, I have a porcelain floor and basically nothing sticks to it. As a bonus, it looks like real wood and it's just a fantastic floor.
Now, for those of you that watch my videos regularly, you may notice that um, I have not yet finished my sheetrock, and unfortunately, that's just one of those things I gotta be in the mood for, and right now, I'm in the mood to get this trim done because I'm tired of looking at it in my garage. So anyway, that's how I touch up my trim. I've got about another 100 feet of this to do today. So I really appreciate you watching and I'm gonna stop the video and get back to getting my trim painted. Um, be sure to subscribe to my videos, be sure to like them and be sure to share them. Feel free to participate in the conversation and leave a comment if you have something positive or nice to contribute. Um, if you have something negative or nasty to contribute, um, I'm sorry, those comments will be moderated. Thanks so much, have a great day.